Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the upper dish rack in a Whirlpool dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade and a Phillips screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new upper dish rack and a couple of adjustable tiny rolls. The upper dish rack provides an additional loading capacity for the dirty dishes with its own spray arm. The main reason why the upper dish rack would need to be replaced is if it starts corroding, causing rusty stains on the dishes. Open the door. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press the tab and remove the dish rack stop. Repeat the procedure on the other side. Slide out the upper dish rack and place it on a workable surface bottom up. Before doing anything, I would recommend you to snap a picture of the assembled dish rack. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take the center screw out. Lift up the manifold from the spray arm and pull it off the manifold probe. Remove the spray arm and the spray arm seal. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press the locking tab on the side of the arm mount and push the mount down. Squeeze the arm mount in so the bottom portion goes free from under the wire. Press on the locking tab on the opposite side and remove the wash arm mount from the dish rack. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press on the locking tabs and remove the rear hanger. Then press the side tabs to release the rear hanger. Now we are going to take off the wheels. Using both thumbs, press on the tabs if both of them are intact and simultaneously push the wheel assembly up. Turn it to one side and remove from the dish rack. Memorize the location of the wheels and then repeat the procedure and remove the rest of the wheels. Next would be the adjustable tine rolls. Remember, we've got the new tine rolls with the dish rack. Hold the tine roll pivot at the end with the hook and push down the locking tab with your thumb to unlock it. Remove the tine roll pivot. Repeat the procedure and remove the rest of the tine roll pivots. Then remove the adjustable tine rolls. And the last thing would be removal of these two tiny roll positioners. Press and unlock the tabs to remove them. This is the old upper dish rack next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Place it on a workable surface. Let's install the tine roll positioners by snapping them on the wire. Now we can install new adjustable tine rolls. Place the tine roll inside. Hold the adjustable tine roll with one hand. Install the tine roll pivot so the groove locks over the adjustable tine roll and rotate it so the hooks are positioned over the wire. Then snap the locking tab over the cross wire. Install the opposite end pivot the same way. Repeat the procedure to install the second adjustable tine roll. Install the rear hanger by placing it on the wires 
and snapping the locking tabs. Using the manifold, measure where the wash arm mount should be installed. Lock one side of the mount on the wire, then squeeze the arm mount and install the other side over the wire. Push it up to lock. Install the spray arm and the seal onto the arm mount. Insert the manifold over the probe and place it on the spray arm. Secure it with a Phillips screw. Make sure the spray arm moves freely. Insert the wheel assembly between the wires and push it up vertically. The two bottom tabs should lock on the wire. There are five spaces between the wheels. All we need to do is to install the rest of the wheels and we are done. Just repeat the procedure. Slide the upper dish rack in. Install both dish rack stops. Close the door, plug the dishwasher in, and continue using the amazing gadget that brought liberation to millions. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.